Panama, the second session of the Russia-Africa Summit is coming at a time when the administration of President Bola and the is implementing a homegrown and private sector driven economic agenda that is predicated on good government, infrastructure, and human capital development. As well as business climate reforms with the expected outcomes of job creation and poverty education. The need therefore to invite private sector participation in the Nigerian economy cannot be overemphasized. Moreover, the timing of the summit is very appropriate as it is the case of investments meeting opportunities. For 220 million people, Nigeria has unrivaled investment opportunities with an attractive return on investment and in the largest economy in Africa. It is again this background that the expectation from this public remains high as investment in Africa and Nigeria is very important and highly desirable. Your Excellencies, Nigeria is now at a new town. The chart and position is destiny for greatness. We have resolved and are firmly determined to consolidate on industrializing Nigeria and diversifying its economy. In the sector that the country has a comprised advantage, the administration of President Kim recognized the private sector as the engine of growth and a veritable partner in our economic agenda. I will therefore give the fullest possible support to foreign and domestic leaders. Your Excellencies, no meaningful development can take place without peace. The Russian Ukraine crisis is impacting on all nations in different ways. The ongoing situation between two brother countries is unfortunate. Nigeria remains not aligned in any complex situation, but we are deeply concerned about the potential impact of the crisis on global peace and security. And we call on all parties to resolve the conflict through diplomatic means that that is the best option for resolving conflicts and fostering international peace <coughs> and